Assalamualaikum students. How are you? I hope that you will be fine and enjoying your vacations nicely at your homes. Students, today we are going to solve the page number 25 of the remedy pack of level 7 and the subject is science. Students, at this page we have the two questions. The one is question number 6 and another is question number 7. In the question number 6, we have to write down the properties of pure water. Properties means the characteristics and pure water means is a water which consists of only hydrogen and oxygen in a fixed ratio. So students, in that pure water, there are no viruses, no bacteria and no any trace amount of any other materials inside it. So students, we have to characterize that pure water. So the first point is pure water has no color, taste or smell. Students, it means that the water will be pure if it has no color no taste or no smell number two it freezes at zero degree the word freezes means its freezing temperature and freezing temperature is the temperature at which the liquid starts to solidify and the temperature of the water is zero degree so at zero degree the water freezes into the solid. Number three, it boils at 100 degree. It means the boiling point of water is 100 degree. And what is boiling point? It is the temperature at which external pressure and internal pressure of the vapors becomes equal to each other. So, the liquid starts boiling, which is pure water, at 100 degree. So, we mentioned here, it boils at 100 degree. Number 4. It is a bad conductor of electricity. Students, electricity is the flow of electrons. So, pure water has no free electrons. So, we can say that it is a bad conductor of electricity. Number 5. It is a very good solvent. Students, it means that solvent is a substance which is able to dissolve other substance in the smaller amount. So, water has the ability to dissolve many substances. So, we can say that it is a very good solvent. Now, students, we move towards the question number 7 here, which is label the diagram and color it. Students, we have provided with a diagram and we have to color it and also we have to label the parts of this diagram. So students, this is a diagram of a respiratory system of the human body. So students, we are going to label the parts one by one and I'll also describe the associated functions and significant features of every part. So first we focus that what is a respiratory system? Student, respiratory system is a type of system which is present inside the human body and it deals with a process known as the respiration. Respiration is the process by which the food that we eat is broken down or we can say that it is oxidized in the body to release energy and that energy is utilized to walk, run, work and all that. So basically we need energy to perform our activities in our daily life and that energy is provided by the respiration. So we are going to discuss now what are the different parts of the respiratory system. The first part will be nose. 
So students, this is a nose. Nose is a part of the respiratory system and this is a sensory organ and it allows the air to enter your body. The second part, nasal cavity. Students, this is the nasal cavity. So we write here, nasal cavity. Students, nasal cavity is a large, as you can see, air-filled space which is present above and behind the nose in the middle of your face. And this nasal cavity is further divided into the portions. So students, after that we have a nasal passage. So students, nasal passage is a passage, is a way for the air to enter inside and it filters and warm air and it make it moist before it goes into the lungs. Students, the next part is pharynx. So we write here pharynx. Students, after passing from the nasal passage, this tube is common to both air and the food. So air enters inside the pharynx. The next part is larynx. So students, this is the part which is also called as voice box. And this voice box makes sound used in speaking. This larynx is also known as a throat. After that, we have a tube called trachea. So we write here trachea. Trachea is also called as wind pipe. And this tube is cartilaginous. It means it is made up of the cartilage rings. This tube connects the larynx to the other portion which is next to the trachea. Now this trachea will divide into the two tubes which are known as bronchi. So we write here bronchi which is a plural word. So students this is the lung. This is the right lung and this is the left lung. Students right lung is larger as compared to the left lung. Right lung has the three lobes. One, two, three. And this is a posterior lobe. The lobe which is present at the lower portion. So students, these bronchi further divided inside the lungs and giving branches known as the bronchioles. So I have shown here these branches as bronchioles. And at the end of these branches present the air sacs which is called alveoli where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs between the blood and the 
lungs the last portion is the diaphragm students this is a sheet of muscle which is present below the lungs it helps in the breathing movement when the diaphragm relax it moves upward and it decreases the volume of the chest when the diaphragm contracts it flattens and it increases the volume of the chest so in this way it helps in the breathing movements so students that is all about the respiratory system of the human body i hope students that you clearly understand all the structures and their associated functions so students we will meet in our next lecture till then allah hafiz